What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be installing a knock sensor in my 2006 Acura TSX and it's most likely the same from 2004 all the way to 2008. I was driving one day and all of a sudden this emission code came up and I was like emissions code that could be anything like O2 sensors, catalytic converters or you know maybe some kind of evap sensor or something but once I checked the malfunction code it led towards the knock sensor. Let me show you guys what the code looks like on the dash. I'm gonna start my car and you'll see the error message come up. Right there, it says check emission system. And this to me has nothing to do with the emission system. So I ordered the knock sensor and looking at this thing, it does not look like a typical knock sensor. Well, not something I'm aware of. This thing looks more like an oil pressure sender. So the knock sensor is located right behind the intake manifold. So I'm gonna have to pull this off in order to get access to it. I'm gonna take this plastic cover off first and it's just two 10 millimeters. Now it's going to be the intake manifold and it is one, two, three, four, five, 12 millimeters. Now I'm going to take off this hose right here. There. After taking off the nuts and bolts right here on the upper intake manifold, there's also a bracket with a bolt holding the manifold down in this area over here. It's a little hard to see, but it's down there, trust me. So I took off that bolt for the bottom bracket and now I'm able to pretty much move the intake manifold around. But first, I'm gonna have to take off this intake tubing so that I can also pull it out much easier. And it is, this looks to be like a six millimeter right here. So I lied guys, it was a 5.5 millimeter. What a freaking oddball size, but either way, take off this vacuum hose. Right there, don't forget to put that back right here. I moved the intake manifold to one side and this is the lazy way out. Everything is still intact. So I wanna minimize the amount of stuff I have to put back together. The knock sensor is right here and you can see it's right behind the starter, which is right here. So I'm gonna unplug this and take this knock sensor out. But here's the setup that I'm gonna to use to remove that knock sensor. It's a 27 millimeter socket, which is pretty big. And I'm also using a long adapter. To the left is the old one and to the right is the new one. And you can see the part numbers are different. I bought this one off of eBay and it seemed to have good reviews. So knock on wood, it works and I don't have to buy an expensive OEM unit. You can see the new one there and installation is just the reverse of uninstallation. Another thing I'm gonna do is disconnect the battery so that the whole system resets. Everything's all put back together. And now it's time for the drive to see if that emissions light went away. This is the maiden voyage after replacing the knock sensor and the emissions light is gone now. So that's great. So if you guys are looking at replacing your knock sensor also, just follow those simple steps and you should be fine. Other than that, I'm gonna end the video here. I'll see you guys in the next one.